Shalom, Ami Asherah, all praises and glory goes to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shari, Ba'ashem, Rekha'kodash. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone and citations unto the legmen feeding the sheep of Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shari, in sincerity and truth with this great gospel coming out of our Bible, King James Version, at 1611. Because um, Esau, Edom, what he, he's trying to bring confusion, right? He's trying to bring confusion with these false translations, right? With these false translations, it says, please don't lie and say that all Bible versions say the same thing when it's so obvious they are not saying the same thing. They are not saying the same thing, right? All these different churches, right? The world, but the Lord said, um, the simplicity in this gospel, man, it's not supposed to be hard for you to understand, right? It's not hard for you to understand that the, the main character in this Bible is the heaven. There's three main characters that you got the heavenly father, his son, and the children of Israel, right? And the children of Israel. Anybody after that is what? Just Gentiles and heathens. They don't get the promises. They don't get the blessings. So what heathens and Gentiles and rulership, what they trying to um, change the words of the Lord with these new false translations, right? You got, um, I'm going to go to the book of Jeremiah 14 and 2. It reads, I'm going to start with um, the King James Version. Judah morning. In the gates thereof language they are black unto the ground and the, the cry of jerusalem is gone up when you read the new international virgin version it reads judah mourns her city's language they wail for the land and a cry goes up from jerusalem and yeah they removed the black part right it's a lot of things in this Bible that Esau, Edom, removes. I'm going to read this right here. Revelations 22 and 19. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, Yahweh the Most High shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book, which are written in this book. And that's why these Edomites are going to be done away with. Because one thing they did was take away a lot from this Bible. They took a lot from this Bible. And read the book of 1 Corinthians 10, verse 10. It reads, Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, that ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no division among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. And how is that going to happen when you got all these different translations, right? All these different translations and breakdowns, right? All to what caused confusion. All to cause confusion lead you astray. What they're trying to remove Israel from the Bible. Here you got here in Hosea 11 and 12. We're going to read the King James. He reads, but Judah yet ruleth with the Most High and is faithful with the saints. Here Hosea 11 and 12, the NIV. And Judah is unruly against God, even against the faithful. Man. Come on. Right? Taken from the Bible, adding on to the Bible, removing stuff from the Bible. What's what's the future of these damn Edomites, man? They're going into fucking captivity. They're going to be destroyed. They're going to be destroyed. I'm going to read the book of Philippians 2 and 2. It reads, Fulfill ye my joy that ye be what like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. One mind in, your, in this gospel, in this truth. And yeah, there's only one way to salvation, the straight gates. And it's through this gospel, man. You can't come through no other way, right? What's the thing is, these Edomites, they're trying to add themselves onto the scriptures. These heathens, they're trying to add themselves on to the blessings of the children of Israel, right? Because their society is through. Their society is through, right? They already had their time to rule. They already had their time of rulership, the Persians. We go back to the Assyrians, the Babylonians, first we, the Egyptians, <laughs> the Assyrians, the Babylonians, the Persians, the Medes, the Greek, the Romans, right? They all had their time to rule. And what's, the, what's back right now? The reincarnation of the Roman Empire, right? What, did, what, what was their spirit? Taking over stuff, changing, changing stuff, right? The Romans went around destroying a bunch of relics, right? Trying to destroy the images of so-called black rulership. Ain't that what Esau is doing right now through his, um, through his, um, when he got back in power through what, the Renaissance, right? The Renaissance, he destroyed a lot of images, re, 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 um, <laughs> remade himself on the earth like he was the chosen people of the Bible. 
to the point where they are in our land claiming to be us. So what? He's trying to erase Israel. He's trying to erase Israel. One of the ways you do it is what? Through the Bible, man. You put out all these new versions, right? Saying different things to what? Bring confusion to the people. Let me go to the book of Deuteronomy 4 and 2. And it reads, Ye shall not add unto the words which I command you, neither shall ye diminish out from it, that ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your power which I command you. And here you guys, 501c3 Israelites, right? You done took that bag. So now you you diminishing from the Bible. You taking from the from the word of the Lord. Right? You're not you're not gathering, you're scattering the flock of the Heavenly Father through what false doctrine. Right? Through false doctrines, false names. That's another thing these other Israelite camps don't deal with. They don't they don't deal with the whole Bible. <laughs> they don't deal with the whole Bible. Let me get this verse. of um, Hebrews 10 and 7. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book, it is written of me to do thy will. Because a lot of people, they want to only deal with um, the Old Testament, or they only want to deal with the New Testament. You got to deal with the whole book, the whole Bible. And what does the whole Bible speak of? The children of Israel being delivered and coming back to the Heavenly Father. And these other nations, they're going to go into submission. Right? The, man, the fear of the nations is that they're going to go into submission and the children of Israel is going to be put on top. So what, what are they trying to do? They're trying to get rid of this Bible. What's the new thing? Uh, ban the Bible. Ban the Bible. The Bible is evil. Right? Let me get this verse. They're trying to make anybody who has a faith, anybody who believes in a God, you, you're evil on the earth. Right? They did the same thing with... um. They did the same thing with the Arabs, man, right? Even though they're not under the banner of the Lord, but they were under their own statutes and regulations. And he saw when they were trying to push his doctrine on them, that woman spirit, right? That woman spirit, that liberation spirit, that do without wood spirit. Lawlessness, that lawlessness spirit, right? That's the spirit of Esau Edom. But anything that is righteous, man, they're trying to remove, right? Anything that um has some kind of um order, they're trying to get rid of. Read 2 Peter 2 and 2. And many shall follow their pernicious ways, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. Evil spoken of. So now the Bible, they're looking to ban the Bible because the Bible is not dealing with um that alphabet spirit. Right? The Bible is not dealing with that alphabet spirit. The Bible is not dealing with the heathen and Gentiles and this whole, we are one people, let's all come together in unity. No, the Lord's not dealing that, with that. The Lord's about to reestablish with the children of Israel on the face of the earth. Isaiah 55 and 11 and it reads so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it honestly there's nothing they can do against this truth right the scriptures say let me get that verse 2nd Corinthians 
You read on um, 13, verse 8, for we can do nothing against the truth but for the truth. You read again, for we can do nothing against the truth but for the truth, man. And he saw you trying to ban the Bible, you trying to get rid of the Bible, is showing that these words is true. Because if these words were a lie, you would continue to promote it, right? You ain't trying to ban the Quran. You ain't trying to ban all these other books. The main book you want to ban is what? The books, the book of the children of Israel, which is the Bible. 